So it can be extremely frustrating when every time you're interested in a girl, she loses interest and gets bored because you don't know how to text her the right way and then you're just driving yourself nuts. You think to yourself, how do I get her attention through text? Well, I have the solution for that in this video. Stick around and watch it until the very end in order to gain the most possible out of the video. What's going on guys? My name is Assam from DopeLifeCoaching.com and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to get a girl's attention through text. Now if it's your first time on this channel, make sure you hit that like button and you also subscribe down below. Make sure you also hit the bell notifications button to get notified when new videos just like this one come out. Now let's dive right into everything. So there's two things. The first is getting a woman's attention isn't really about what you say, but rather how you say it and the way in which you say it. That's number one. The second thing is less really is more with women. I know it's counterintuitive to a lot of you guys, but it's just the truth and it's best to deal with the truth as it really is and handle it the right way instead of just ignoring it and having to face the consequences afterwards. So here's the thing. If you're just sitting there and then you're texting this girl back and forth, paragraph upon paragraph and telling her your every move and how interested you are in her, it's extremely likely that she's going to pull away from you because now you're just boring and you're too familiar. Remember, over familiarity breeds boredom and boredom breeds a lack of interest. However, what you want to do is the complete opposite. You want to pull her in by intriguing her and also by pulling back a bit. Let me explain. You want to give her what's known as the FOMO feeling. FOMO stands for fear of missing out. And what you want to do in order to get her attention is to sparingly, just a little bit, let her know that you're having a fun time and that you're busy with it but don't give away too much information, just a little bit, just enough to let her know that you're having a fun time and just enough to get her intrigued. That way she starts thinking about you and because you back off, she gets even more curious. And then when you invite her onto one of these things because of FOMO, she's more than likely gonna be open to go out on a date with you. And that's of course, assuming that she's interested in you in the first place. There's more detail on that in another one of my videos. It's right up here in the link above. But generally, giving the girl the impression and leaving with the impression that you're having a really fun time, she's gonna wanna be a part of that fun. Because remember, girls just wanna have fun. You give a girl a fun time, you're gold. If you're boring and dull and too familiar, you're losing. That's just how it is. So here's a great example of how to get a girl's attention through text. Let's just hypothetically say that you're into hiking. What you wanna do is implicitly, not explicitly, implicitly by giving hints, let her know that you're having fun and that you're busy with it, like I explained before. You give away just a little bit of information, not too much, but just enough to get her intrigued. And the best way to get the intrigue and the curiosity going is by asking a question like, I have a question for you, or even better, I have a serious question for you. Nine times out of 10, she's gonna respond like right away when she sees it on her phone because she's gonna be like, holy shit, what's he gonna ask me? Is it a serious question? Is it a not serious question? Does he know something about me? What's, what's going on? Why is it a serious question? And then that creates suspense. And then what you wanna do is counter that suspense by asking a question like, what do you think of amazing views, s'mores, and nature? More likely than not, most people know what that implies. It implies hiking. And she's most likely gonna be like, oh my God, I love that. I've always wanted to go hiking. I've went hiking next week. I'm planning on going hiking next summer. I'm planning on going hiking at this time. Whatever it is. But more likely than not, she'll respond positively and enthusiastically. So when she does respond positively, enthusiastically, what you wanna do 
is send her an invitation for you and her to go out and have a fun time with whatever you like to do. It obviously doesn't have to be hiking. So you go ahead and say these exact words as an invitation to take her out. On blank day, are you free for a fun mini adventure with me? You'll like it if you're the adventurous type. And then more likely than not, she will proceed and either agree to the date or suggest an alternative to go out with you. Now, why is that? You've asked her if she's the adventurous type, she'll say yes. And obviously, even if she's not adventurous, no one wants to fucking admit that they're not adventurous. No one wants to admit that they're boring because you basically set the question up and the phrase in such a way that if she doesn't accept it or she rejects it, she's boring and she's not fun. And nobody wants to come off that way, even if they're really boring. Now again, she's not going to respond negatively because she doesn't want to seem boring. But again, just to make sure, all this assumes that she's interested in you. This all assumes that. I can't go into detail in this video, but the link is right above below in terms of how to know if a girl's flirting with you and interested in you. Because if she's not interested in you, even if she's interested in hiking or whatever you're doing that's fun, it doesn't have to be hiking, she's not going to respond enthusiastically and positively. And I don't want you to sit there being like, oh, this didn't work. No, it only works with women who are attracted to you. And that video exists on my channel. It's called How Women Flirt and Signs That She Is Flirting. But assuming she's actually interested in you and attracted to you, I guarantee you this is going to work as long as you execute it the proper way. Trust me, I've seen it so many times and I've tried it myself so many times. I know exactly what I'm talking about. So that pretty much wraps everything up, guys. How to get a woman's attention through text. The first method is to use intrigue. And the second way, which is used with the first way, is to give her the fear of missing out and also the less is more approach. You do these two things together, you go out there, you try it on the women of your interest with practice, and you're gonna notice that it works really, really well. So go out there, give this a try, make sure you try this on the women of your interest the right way and circulate, and you will notice that you will succeed big time. So if you found this video valuable in any way, make sure you hit that like button and you also subscribe down below. Make sure you also hit the bell notifications if you wanna get notified when new videos just like this one come out. Comment down in the comment section for future videos that you'd like me to cover. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I'm out. Do this, succeed with women, and you will be gold. Take care.